USA Girl Scouts overseas. I'm so excited. We are here with a very special guest. She's headed to Beijing. Oh my gosh, we cannot wait to see her compete in ice dance. She is representing Great Britain with her partner, Lewis Gibson, and she, they together are the four-time national British champions and two-time Grand Prix medalist. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We are here with Lila Fear. Hi, Lila, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so, so excited. So we want to know all about ice dance. We want to know what we should be looking for. How does the competition work? We are so excited to watch you compete. Thank you. So ice dance is a wonderful sport, obviously. I've been doing it for 20 years, so I am biased. But there are two dances that we do. One is the rhythm dance, which is around three minutes long. And then the other one is the free dance, which is four minutes long. So the cardio, that extra minute definitely makes a difference. And I think just to explain ice dance, it's almost like ballroom on ice. So I skate with Lewis, as you mentioned, and there's that partner element, there's lifts, there's spins, there's something called twizzles. And it's wonderful because there's an opportunity to be so innovative and creative and really tell a story while also doing something that's incredibly athletically demanding. Can you tell us the difference between ice dance and pairs? Yes. So ice dance does not involve throwing the girl to land by herself far across the ice, which is why I do ice dance instead of pairs. I have so much respect for pair skaters. But in pairs, as you may see, the boy can extend his arms above his head to lift the girl. She's flying high up there, praying, hopefully, um, or just dazzling as they all do. Um, whereas ice dance, you cannot sustain the boy's arm above the head wh while they're straight. So you can go up quickly, but have to go back down. So that's one difference. And then another main difference is there's no jumping in ice dance. So in pairs, you can have jumps side by side. Whereas in ice dance, we tend to stay on the ice unless it's a lift. And it's much more like technical with the feet and also the dance element. So what do the judges look for during your routine? So the judges, they're really judging um, how we execute the technical side of things. So there's something called the GOE, which is the grade of execution. So we have all of these, you know, it, uh, we have all of these technical elements that we need to do and these requirements that get us points. And then the judges, they'll say, okay, how is your interpretation? How was your skating skills? How did it go? I mean, are you on the ice on your butt or are you thriving across the ice somewhere else, you know? So um, it's definitely subjective, which is something that's part of the sport, something we have to embrace. And then also, I really try to get them to feel something if I can, because they're an audience too. They're skating fans too. So if I can connect with a judge and uh, make them feel something, make them feel joy for the sport, excitement, suspense, surprise, whatever it is, I think that's something that, um, that really makes a difference. And I mean, human to human, I think that can influence the marks too, to a certain extent. 